So after my failed attempt of the TIE Fighter last week, I asked you guys to help design this week's project. And you guys left some really cool ideas in the comments section, and there was a few that really stood out to me. One in particular was the shape, and a lot of you asked if I could do an hourglass. So that got me thinking and thought why not put two models inside, and then there was also some other great comments that suggested if I know that I can get the TIE Fighter to melt, why don't I use that to my advantage and have maybe an X-Wing shooting down the TIE Fighter and having the TIE Fighter melt on the bottom. So with that in mind, a lot of you suggested to stop the TIE Fighter from melting was to either coat the wings in some UV resin or epoxy or maybe even fully encase it prior to doing the full cast. So to stop the X-Wing from melting, I'm going to cast that by itself first. I got myself a silicon mold here. Now the reason I chose this one, it's not actually a great shape but it does wedge the plane inside, which is what I need, because I'm worried that it's just going to float when I cast it. And just like last week, I got myself some Australian Melee Burl, some Solar Color Dust pigments, some Just Resin Art Cast. We're going to throw all this together and hopefully make ourselves an awesome hourglass.
So that didn't turn out too bad, but we do have a couple of problems. One is I trapped a little air bubble in here that I'm going to have to get out. And the other one, we still generated enough heat that we melted these wings a little bit. It's not too bad, we can definitely get away with it. But I'm going to have to get rid of this bubble first and then we'll look at attaching it to the burl. So I finished sanding up the X-Wing, it's all ready to go. I've already glued it to the piece of burl and I've put the burl inside my casting container. And I'm just giving the resin a final mix up. Now this will be the biggest single pour that I've ever done. I've got 1.6 litres of resin here. Now I'll just top it up just a little bit more so we're right to the top. Alright, that's about all we can fit in. Good luck. I think you're going to need it. Alright guys, pause this video, go leave your comments down below. What do you think? Pass or fail? So I guess it's time to take this out. I don't know what to expect. I hope it worked, I really do. I guess you guys already know because you've seen the impot footage. I have no idea. I think we just gotta get the air out and take a look. All right, let's take a look. Check that out. The torch is still on. Not bad. This might turn into a success after all. So I guess the next thing for me to do is get this out of here, glue it to a block, and we're going to start making ourselves an hourglass.
Well that definitely took a bit longer than expected. I had to go really slow to do this middle bit. I was really worried that it might heat up and then start to bend with the pressure on each end. But I think it turned out alright. So the next thing I need to do is take this off. I'm going to start sanding it up and then we can polish it. Last week I stood in this same spot and I told you guys how disappointed I was with last week's snow globe. And you guys left me some fantastic comments and it really brightened up my day and picked me up enough to do this week's project. All your suggestions were fantastic. The shape, the colour, what to do with the models, they're all perfect. I feel like each and every one of you had a helping hand in making this week's project. Now last week I didn't want anyone to see the video, I almost wasn't even going to upload it. And now one week later I want everyone to see it. So if you liked this video, it'd really mean a lot to me if you could share it amongst your family and friends or on your social media or anyone who you think might like this video. I really enjoyed making this one. I think the hourglass shape was perfect for the two models. Now let's check it out and see what you guys think. 